Welcome to another NewDarkroom.com video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to change the eye color of a model. So let's get started. First what we're going to do is we're going to open up an image. Here we have a picture of a model with brown eyes. And they might not work that great with the model's dress or with the background scenery. So we're going to change them. So what we're going to do is go over to our layers palette over here. And we're going to go down to the bottom to new fill or adjustment layer. Click that. And then we're going to go up to the hue or saturation. Now you'll see that this brings up the hue or saturation window with all your uh, hue, saturation, and lightness levels. But over here there's also a colorize box. We're going to check that and you'll notice that's just changed the whole entire image. Uh, what we're going to want to do is select the desired color we're looking for. We'll just say with this one we're looking for a more bluish tinge. Uh, we'll go here, bring up the lightness a little bit. And once you have the desired color you're looking for, click OK. And you'll see that it has added a layer mask here. So what we're going to do, it's a white one, and we want to fill this with black. All right, we're going to invert it, so clicking on the mask we're going to hit Control and I you'll see that the photo has now gone back to normal. Now, what we're going to want to do is select your brush over here, and you're going to want to go for a harder brush, somewhere around 80%, um, and you're going to want to have the diameter roughly the size of the eye, so I'm going to adjust this, bring this up a little bit here, and what we're going to do, you're going to want to make sure that your foreground color is white, since we have a black mask here and we're just gonna click and we're gonna click over here too and this will add the color that we're looking for into the eye now don't worry about getting the color on the eyelids we're going to fix that in just a moment alright um, now let's see here we're gonna want to smooth out the edges of the paint that we just put onto the eyes so we're gonna go up to filter blur and then Gaussian blur. This will even out this color around the edges here of the eye. Usually a radius of around three to four and a half is the correct amount. So we're gonna just bump this up a little bit there. That's fine. Then hit OK. And that'll just even out the color here, refine the edges a little bit. Now next step is to switch your foreground color to black and we're gonna take and we're gonna bump this down a little bit here using the brackets we're gonna make the brush size smaller and we're going to paint black onto that mask which will take the blue away from the eyelids here there we are and here we are don't worry if you mess up and take too much blue off kinda like what I did right here so I'm gonna switch back to white and paint some of that back in over here. There we are. We're gonna switch to black. I got a little too much. Switch here. And like over here, I didn't get enough here. Oops. I'm gonna. I accidentally took a little bit of blue away, so I'm gonna switch over to white. And we're gonna paint some of that blue back in. There we are. Now, you'll notice that the eyelashes are also painted blue, so you might have to do some really fine touching. Uh, of the eyelashes here with your white foreground to get some of that blue out of there. Oh, I'm sorry, with your black foreground to get that blue out of there. And over here as well. And if you do too much, like I said, you can easily just go back and paint white on there and that'll put the blue right back. Now, let's see here. I'm going to go back up here to blur and then Gaussian blur it once again to smooth out those edges that we just cleaned up. Perfect. Let's see. And if that's a little too much, the good thing is we added a adjustment layer here and we're going to adjust the opacity a little bit. I'm going to just bring it down. That way it looks a little bit more natural, somewhere in the 80s. And if our color is wrong, it's very simple. We just double click back in here and we can adjust our color. It was a little too much, so we're just going to add a little or take away some of the blue. 
gives it a little more natural blue. And there you go. It's a very easy way to change a model's eye color.